Hello, my name's Damien Trainer. I'm a former World Muay Thai Champion. I'm the Chief Instructor here at KSR Legacy in Birmingham. And my sister today is uh, Sean Shelley. What I'm going to show you this, in this tutorial is to go over five defence encounters against a low kick. Well, the first one, <coughs> if, if you remember, someone's leg is stronger than your arms. Never try and stop a kick with your arm. So if Sean throws a kick in, my leg comes out to the side, okay? Don't have it too far in front. If it's too far in front and Sean kicks that shin on shin, it's going to kind of hurt both of us. Also, if it was a heavy kick and he was to kick me, he's potentially going to move me off balance. So I need to make sure as he throws that kick, it's out to the side. I want to try and get his foot to hit my shin as much as possible. Same if he throws the opposite way, he throws the left, so he comes up to the side. Now with your foot as well, you can have it this way or this way. It's not right or wrong, so it doesn't really matter. As long as when you're lifting it up, it's close, nice and relaxed and get it up quickly. What we do, the counter that we're going to do is I'm going to go knee the opposite leg. So if Sean goes right low kick, I'll defend, I'm going to drop my foot down straight away, and I'm going to come in and then knee with the opposite leg. Again, again, so he goes right low kick, defend, drop it in, I'm going to go right knee. He goes left low kick, again, I'll drop my foot down in front after I've defended, I'm going to go left knee again. So he goes left low kick, so I'll block, drop it down and I'm going to go left knee. Okay, same the opposite way. I'm going to go right low kick, I'll defend, step in, knee. That's position again, right low kick, defend, knee. And then we'll go left, defend, drop the leg in front, we don't need to switch the stance, left knee. And again, so I'll block, drop it down, knee. And that's position. Right, this one, still using your legs, and we do kind of um, like a cross block. So Sean throws a right low kick, my leg is going to come across this way to defend. What you're doing it, make sure you keep your leg as close to your body as possible. Same principle as he throws that kick, I don't have out too far in front, so that's shin on shin. I want to try and keep it so his foot hits my shin as much as possible. Same if he goes left, my leg comes across, so you're keeping it close. Right, what we're going to do, if he goes right low kick, I'll bring it across, he's stepping, I'm going to go left up, right cross, and again. He comes in, so I'll block, come down, one, two, straight away. And again, to right low kick, defend, hook, cross. If he goes left low kick, I'm going to defend, cross, hook. So he's using that foot position to generate the power you punch against. So he goes left low kick, defend, cross, hook. Okay, try to do the way, so have a look. Okay, so we'll go right low kick, bring it across, come in, two. We'll go left low kick, bring it across, cross, hook. Right now, personally, it's better to block on the same side rather than bringing it across. But sometimes when you're competing, you might end up in a position where you might have too much weight on that front leg, so I can't lift it up, but I can get that leg up quickly or stay in the opposite way. So it's important that you learn both of them. Okay, right, this time, still the low kick. As Sean throws the low kick at me, I'm gonna jam it in my foot this way. So I'm gonna get the flat part of my foot onto his thigh. And then, okay, so he throws the kick. I'm going to stop it in. What this is for is not for people that are kind of kicking like gently or like fast to try and figure out. These people are going like really big and deep with the kicks. You can see it coming. I can see it coming. I'm going to stop it with my leg that way. All we're going to do, it'll go low kick. I'll defend. I'm going to put my foot down. Just kick back with the opposite leg. And again, so it goes low kick, defend, kick back. Right now, personally, when you go to a left low kick, I still like to use my lead foot. Yeah, if you want to use your real one, that's fine. It's entirely up to you. But personally, I use my lead. And again, so I'll block. I'm just going to kick back. The opposite leg goes left low kick. Defend. Kick back. Okay, same. The opposite way. So we can have a look. And go right low kick. I'll defend the kick. Counter straight away. And again, so defend the kick. Counter straight away. And there's the left one. I'll defend. And I'm going to counter. And again, so the left one. Defend. And then counter. Right, this time, obviously what we've been doing defending, the kick to the outside of the legs, but if Muay Thai, you can kick to the inside, right? So what are we gonna do, as he goes inside leg kick, you can do what we did earlier, as he throws it in, I can defend this way, okay? But we've kind of gone over that already, so we're over a different one. So as he fires the kick, I bring my leg out slightly, so I'm taking the sting out of the kick. So he goes inside kick, so my leg comes out. As he goes inside kick, so I take it out, I'm gonna kick straight back my opposite leg, so he goes inside, take it out, and drop down on that foot. So as his foot kind of lands, his weight's on it slightly, 
You can use that motion to carry it through to goes inside, take it out, and kick down on the leg. Try the opposite way. So goes inside leg, take it out. I'm gonna go kick straight away. Again inside, come out, and then kick straight away. Right, this one, what we're gonna do, again, this is for people that are like really trying to fire it in, not those types that are just kind of like tapping you away. John throws a deep heavy kick to stepping through, but again, so he steps in, oh my gosh, step through with a big punch. Right, this isn't really Muay Thai, but obviously it's very effective. I've knocked a couple of people at myself with this. First part, as he throws that kick, I'm stepping out to the outside of his leg. At the same time, as he throws it in, I'm gonna hit him, obviously aim for the face at this time, with like a heavy punch. I wanna hit the target just before my foot hits the floor, that way my body weight's behind what I'm doing. If I step and land and punch, it's more like a jab, there's nothing behind it. And obviously he's on one leg, so it's gonna to add to him, uh, for him losing position. So he'll go right low kick, step in, big right cross. And again, low kick, step in, big right cross. Right, if he goes left low kick, it'll be a little bit different. Obviously he's aiming for that rear leg, so as he comes in, step round, he's set with a big left up. Same principle, as he throws that kick, I'm stepping out to the side, so moving out of the way. As he throws it in, I feel like a big left up, obviously aiming for the face. I'll do both, both of them on this side. So we've got right low kick, step in, big right cross. And again, so low kick, step in, big right cross. And he throws that left low kick, step round, like a long left hook. And again, coming up, long left hook. Especially with the left, a lot of people, when they kick, is to start waving their arms about it. So while he's waving his arms about as he throws that kick, oh, he's wide open to hit with that punch. Thank you for watching this tutorial on five defence encounters against a low kick. If you want to find out anything more about myself or my gym, please look at the website www.k-legacy.co.uk and for more tutorials, please check out the Warrior Collective.